Well, but first, Democratic Senator Chris Coons, a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee, who is on a very short break, just has a couple of minutes in the hallway there before they head back in. Senator, thank you very much for being here tonight. Um, so, you know, a lot of folks watching this feel like there's nothing new, really, that they've heard in the chamber today. Is that your impression or, or are they missing something? Well, Martha, the House manager spent six hours so far today uh, laying out a very detailed presentation. Uh, I'll tell you that I generally followed the testimony in front of the House Intelligence Committee and the House Judiciary Committee, uh, but today the House managers uh, put it together in order and made a very thorough, detailed, and fact-based case, uh, first about the allegations about President Trump's um, so-called perfect phone call with President Zelensky of Ukraine on July 25, and then the ways in which uh, Rudy Giuliani, his personal attorney, uh, worked with Ambassador Sondland and others to try and influence Ukraine and to try and uh, get some personal benefit from uh, withholding military aid to Ukraine. And yeah. just about an hour ago, the argument about obstruction of Congress has started. Um, there's a lot of details. I haven't heard it all in this format before, and I'm frankly looking forward to hearing the president's defense. If he hopes to be exonerated here in the Senate, he's going to have to answer a lot of the facts that have been put yeah. out today. I know you're a big uh, supporter of Joe Biden, and he addressed the issue of whether or not he should be a witness. Uh, you feel that there's, that there's no sort of swap that could happen in order to have perhaps John Bolton and perhaps Joe Biden or Hunter Biden? Well, one of the critical questions, Martha, is who's a relevant witness? Um, from what right. we've heard today, clearly um, the former National Security Advisor or the former OMB Director and Chief of Staff were in the room, um, have direct personal knowledge about whether or not President Trump was trying to shake down Ukrainian President Zelensky with a corrupt motive. Um, I don't see the relevance of having Joe Biden testify, but the last vote that we took uh, last night, actually very early this morning, um, was a motion from uh, Senator Schumer uh, to have the Chief Justice, Chief Justice Roberts, uh, be the decider of what is relevant documents, who would be relevant witnesses. To my disappointment, that was voted down by the Republican majority here in the Senate. Senator Coons, I know you got to get back in there, so thank you very much. <laughs> uh, it's always good to be with you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Martha.